Hi, my name is Cindy and I work with the Plymouth Public Library. And today I'd like to talk to you about Overdrive and Libby. I wanna talk about the apps and depending on what you have, if you have an Android, you would wanna to go to the Google Play Store. If you have an Apple product, you go to the App Store. Again, we're gonna look at Overdrive and Libby. Since I have an Apple phone, I will go to the App Store and that's what I did. I typed in Overdrive up at the top with the search, and this is what came up. I've got a cloud because I deleted it, then I reinstalled it so that I could show you what it looks like. If this is a new app for you, then you would, it would say get, and you would press that. When you press it, the button, and it's downloading, when it's finished downloading, it will have the, the open button. So you'll click on that. I clicked on Libby and this is what, what it looks like in your app. You're gonna answer the first question, do you have a library card? You say yes. So when you click on it, then this is what comes up. They're gonna ask you to search for a library or guess what your library is. I usually all search for a library. I typed in the Plymouth Public Library and it does come in up with different options. So you do need to choose the correct one. We are the Indiana Digital Download Center and we are with more than 84 other libraries that are part of the consortium. Once you choose the, the correct consortium, then you're gonna type in your library card. It's gonna say Plymouth and then you're gonna click on that and put your library card in there. Then let's go to, to Overdrive. Once you've opened that, you're going to click on sign up. When you do, I would advise signing up using your library card. So you're going to click there. You're going to type in the Plymouth Public Library, press go. And then again, it comes up with Indiana Digital Download Center. You're going to click on that. And this is what the options are. You're going to click on that down arrow and you're gonna find the Plymouth Public Library. When you do, that's what happens. And then this is where you type in your barcode. When you type in your barcode in OverDrive, this is what you see. You're gonna click on add a title and it's gonna ask you to sign in one last time. You're gonna sign in, you're gonna choose your the Plymouth Public Library and type in your barcode. And I was just showing you that's what the, the app looks like for the App Store. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and go to OverDrive. So I'm in the app. And there are things that I want you to take a look at. Up in the top left-hand corner are three dots. And then in the bottom right-hand corner, I'm sorry, not the bottom right-hand corner, the middle with the three dots, it gives you some options of what you have accessible here. Come on. You can go to my account. You can go to subjects, collections, Kindle books. These are some of the different things that we have. We have the magazines as well. If you hit those cute three little books right there, it shows you what you've got in your loans. Notice the word loans is blue. You can click and you can see what I've got there. There's holds. I put a book on hold. There's a wish list, rated titles, recommendations. I want you to also look at the settings. So click on the settings. These are your settings you can actually set for whatever days you want. 7, 14, 21. I usually go for 21 because if you finish it, then you can send it back. Video, you can choose three, five, or seven days. Magazines, like books, are 7, 14, and 21 days. You can also turn on your history. You can also choose the Kindle preference if you'd like. Also, other options, high contrast, dyslexic font. So there's some nice options. Go to those three buttons at the top 
or the lines, and let's go to the Indiana Digital Download. It's showing the things that are available at the top. And notice there's on, on, the, on the come up, it's audiobook. And you can see by the headphones, here is Rachel Hollis and Girl Stop Apologizing. That's an ebook and it has a, a little, little book. Then they always encourage you to check out Libby. And you can scroll down this way and look and see what they've got. Or if you know more what you like, you can go to search and then type in what you want. Or you can go to see the word advanced underneath. If you click there, this is nice because you can choose, you can really get your search honed down and you can see some of the different options for you. Let's see what there is for ballet. Cirque du Soleil, Valerium. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Libby app. The Libby app is a little bit different. It is nice in that on the left on the bottom, it says library. And that's kind of where you can search. And then you go up here to the left, top left and search. Here on the bottom right is my shelf. So let's see what I've got in my shelf. So I've got an audio, another audio, and then I've got a book. Notice here that manage loan, if you click on this, you can return early. And that's nice. That's a nice option. I'm going to go back to my shelf and I'm going to manage this and I'm going to return that early. Something I do want you to look at it is that you can look up magazines. Let's go down. There are some magazines. The nice thing with Libby is that you can actually download the magazines onto your device. And let's look at that. We're going to download that. Borrow it. Borrow. All right, now we're not going to open the magazine. I had actually downloaded this earlier, so that's why it's syncing to where I was last. When you hit in the middle, see the word back up at the top left. Just to the right of that is a, a funny little circle with a, it actually says zoom there. If you click there, it's going to let you zoom in or zoom back out. Click there, say that you're done at the bottom. Right, and then you can keep scrolling. I do want us to go back to Overdrive and you can see with the apps at the top, which one I'm in. The thing that Overdrive has over Libby is that you can choose videos. It is streaming, so you would have to Always be connected to Wi-Fi. And let's do streaming video. The selection is not as good as, uh, as Hoopla, but it still is pretty decent, especially considering this is all with your library card.
So it gives you some options there. The other thing is, whereas with Libby, you can download the magazine on OverDrive, it is all in your browser. If you're using, if you're using um, Wi-Fi. The other thing too is that um, <clears throat> that I want to show you is let's go to Safari. So this is where I'm on the browser, and I'm gonna go. And there is my video. Notice how it says when I am using the browser that watch in the browser now. And so you are able to watch it. You're just not able to download it. So if you have any questions or if you would like a tutorial on your own, please feel free to come into the Plymouth Library and I'd be glad to help you. I hope you enjoy these apps as much as I have. Have a good night. Bye-bye.